Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special video that is not really related to the podcast. It's more for Adobe Audition users. I'm going to share the Adobe Audition Stream Deck profile I use. It's very, very basic. I'm going to put a link down in the description below so you can download it. When you download it, you will be seen with this. And before, I'm going to talk a lot about what this is, but just to get this out of the way, just in case you want to get to the chase, I'll explain everything. Just let me get to the chase first of all. For those of you who already have this, the Stream Deck, you just want to know what to do. When you have it installed and you've got nothing blank here, click on this button here to go into the settings. This is so you're importing my profile you just downloaded. Click on this button here. You want to go to import. And then the window will come up for you to find the file, wherever you download it, that I'm uploading, which is whatever dot profile. And then when you load it up, you should be met with this screen. Okay, so that's how you get it. If you just want to go in and download it and be on your way, fine. I'm just make, making it short for you guys. For those of you guys who want to listen to me babble a little bit to explain why I've done this and what it is, thank you for listening. Thank you for continuing. Now, I just purchased the Stream Deck, the Ilgato Stream Deck, and it's usually a hardware button mapping tool that is used for streamers. Streamers on Twitch use it so they can bring up screens and do all this other stuff. But to be honest with you, you can use it for any program. And what are you using it for? To make your life easier. So, you know, when you open any of these applications, you've got all these shortcuts you can't remember. Well, what you can do is you can put them down here, your favorite shortcuts, and then you could basically just put them in here and they're all buttons. So, you know, whatever complicated shortcut there is in the app of choice, for example, if you're on Photoshop and you want to add a mask, you can make a button called mask. You put the the, um, the shortcut here and then whenever you press mask on your physical in real life key button, Elgato Stream Deck, it will just do that. One button press. So I've taken the time to make an audition one with all the basic buttons I use for editing. Now, in saying that, Here's a very big caveat, okay? Before I got this, before I had this, I got a stream deck, just like everyone else, I was just using keyboard shortcuts. And because of that, my keyboard shortcuts are different. I'll show you what I mean. I changed some of the keyboard shortcuts, okay? Now, the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because what will happen is when you download my profile, some of the keys might not work which is why I'm going to explain why I've picked these. Because if you press a button, you, once you in, import this profile, if you press a button and it doesn't work, it just means you have to change the shortcut. Like for example, M is the normal shortcut for marker. For left, I changed it to one. But by default, it's something else. So basically, when you import this, some of these buttons might not work. You just have to go in here, go back into audition, Bring back the key, the keyboard shortcuts and find the shortcuts that I changed and then change them to whatever. I think, you've, did, does that make sense? I'm just, that's just a warning. So this is where all the shortcuts are. This is where you want to take a note of all the shortcuts I'm going to make by default. Mine are already a bit different, but. I think you can figure the rest out. I think I was clear enough. I don't want to make this too long or too complicated. All right, let's get back to the actual what I've done with my, what I chose as my shortcuts. Now, for this, this is just the Adobe Audition logo. I just put this here because I've got a lot of profiles on the Elgato Stream Deck. I've got two soundboards. I've got a general one. I just want to see that so I know I'm in the Audition profile. I just put that there. But also, if I click that, it goes to the next profile as well. I set this up. So that's what that does. Goes to the next profile. But I just put the old double picture in there as well. Anyway, moving on. That's the marker button to set markers in your tracks. Now, here's a left and right button I chose. Because when you're working in stereo, if you're doing a, like an interview with someone and they're on the left side and you're on the right side, sometimes you want to mute their mic. So I put a mute for left and a mute for right. That's what these are. Mute left, mute right. This is for stereo. Okay. Mono. This is to convert your stereo tracks into mono. Sometimes I want to do that. Well, I do that quite often for the podcast. So I just wanted to make one button to do that. Okay. Ripple delete. 
different from normal delete. Ripple delete is for the multi-track. Again, I'm not trying to be condescending. I'm just ex trying to be clear when I'm explaining this. This is a multi-track track. So usually when you highlight like this and you press delete, it will only delete one track. That's normal delete. Ripple delete deletes all tracks. That's how I set it up. So when I press ripple delete, you'll notice every single track will cut all this space here. Normal delete doesn't do that. I do that a lot in editing, okay? So that's why I chose Ripple Delete. Obviously, we'll get to Normal Delete as well. Silence. Silence is the track. C Noise is Capture Noise Print. So whenever you're recording, you want to remove background noise. That's the Capture Noise button. The F Noise, that means Fixed Noise. But that's just this brings up the, the Noise dialog box. And I'll just quickly show you. This is the Noise dialog box. It brings up that box after you capture the noise. If you do noise capture, you're familiar with that already. So again, I don't want to make the video too long. Amplitude statistics. I think this is one of the most important functions in Audition because this shows you the statistics of your volume amplitude of your audio. So whenever you're in a track, if you just press amp statistics, again, this is already in window. Amplitude statistics. I just made a button for it. So when you do that, in the background, it's scanning the amplitude already. You can see your peaks, your highs, your lows. You you really want to check this whenever you're editing, especially when you finish your first edit, you know, before you master. So for me, the very, very important. I had to put this on there. So let's move on. Play, pause. Obviously, you need the, just having that in hand is so, so useful. Normal delete goes without saying, just deletes anything you highlight in a single track. Undo, you've got to have that to hand. The multi-track window, I think for me, this has been another lifesaver. For example, when you're in, because you know when you're doing multi-track and normal tracks, you can jump in and out. Now, obviously, you can just press these two to switch between one, two, but I like having a button because if you double click on the track, you go in. One button for multi-track, you go out. Double click in, multi-track out. That's why I created the multi-track button instead of a audio button that's just my again my preference you might not agree you might think it's pointless but for me and the last button i actually made this is the minimize button <laughs> now i've always got 10 windows open not just audition so in most of my profiles i have a minimize button so i can always just go down that's that works in any program i just it's really useful for me to have that and that is my basic um ilgato let's go back to this I'm using a Mac, of course. This is my basic audition or gato profile, which I'm going to share. Link in the description on YouTube. I want to give a big shout out to the Reddit, because on Reddit there is a there is a Reddit for this. The um Stream Deck profiles, but it's kind of barren. My ones, I just I put this on here as well. I put a link in the description for this Reddit. I really want this community to grow. So shout out to the guys here. A lot of people were happy that I was making this. So I'm, again, I wanted to share it on YouTube. And yes, I've disrupted the channel. If you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, you're like, why did you make this video? YouTube is the biggest, second biggest search engine because Google have the first, obviously, both Google. I wanted to put this on YouTube so people searching for this can find it because there's a, a couple million audition users and I think this could be helpful. And the Orgato Stream Deck is so awesome. I want more people to create profiles like I've done so we can get more shortcuts for everything. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I had a bit of a moan there at the end. So I think I'm going to create one for Final Cut Pro as well. Because that's the, the two programs I use the most, Audition and Final Cut Pro. That's what I used to edit. I don't use Adobe or, uh, Adobe Premiere because I wasn't trained in it. Maybe one day I will be. But the, uh, I'll just end on this. The Ogato Stream Deck is amazing. If you don't know what it is, and you, I, I didn't give a review for it. I'll put a link in the YouTube card in the top right-hand corner. I watch the reviews. There's so many reviews on it. Yes, it's it's mostly aimed towards streamers, but you can use it. If you're a, po a productivity nerd, this, could, this will save you time in Photoshop, Excel, editing. I think this is just one of the best productivity tools you can have. It's a little bit expensive, but for me, the time is saving. Time is money. It's saving me time of my life. And, you know, I'm just happy to share the profile. Again, Google Drive link in the description. If you appreciate this profile check out the podcast voiceml.com it's an open podcast where we take voice notes from the public we talk about trending topics 
uh, news, pop culture. We're kind of nerdy, but, you know, we would love to hear from you. And, yeah, I'm just putting it out there because I learned so much from great YouTube channels like Podcastage and Mike Russell and even In-House Studio. Again, these are the three. The, I think these are my three best audio. I'm a, I'm a sound engineer as well, so obviously I'm, I'm going to gravitate to sites that are dealing with sound and editing. So I highly recommend those channels. Again, Podcastage for microphone reviews. Mike Russell for Adobe Audition Editing. He taught me a lot of what I know. And um, in-home studio for the all-arounder. So those three channels I recommend. I want to see more profiles out there. Give us a like if you like it. If you want to share your profiles or want to improve on it, let me know. But this suits my needs. I won't be making a version 2 for a while. Maybe in a year or so. This is a 10-minute video about just giving a profile. I just want it to be further. If you on the podcast and just didn't have this disruption, I apologize. You get back to your regularly scheduled programming now. But I've recorded this video three times. I need to get the hell out of here. What an awesome product. Just make more profiles, people, in whatever you do. Art, design, Word, Excel, pages. I don't know what you use. Make more profiles. This is making our lives easier and faster. What a great product. I highly recommend it. Check out the reviews for the product, apart from my profile discussion video. And I'll see you in the next one, man. Thanks for checking out the podcast. Please check out the podcast. Like, subscribe. And we do have a Patreon. If you just want to send us some cash for the time, save time saved, then yeah, go to our Patreon and just just help us, man, financially. We would appreciate that. But enough e-begging. Let me get that out of here. <laughs> Let me get the hell out of here, guys. Long enough video. I'll go edit this and put it out there. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace out.